Legends, welcome. We've got a super special guest here. It's actually a client of us here at the Gym Boss Marketing Co. Agency, Adam Hopapa. He is the owner and founder of House of Pain. Uh, it's a gym located over in Western Australia. Um, and he's been with us for two months, coming up to two months, and he's been kicking ass. So I want to bring him on here so he could talk about sharing his experience. So Adam, thanks heaps for coming on, man. No problems, mate. So uh, to fill the guys in a little bit first, though, your, what type of gym you are and sort of like, you know, the stats, where, what type of clients you are on your memberships and whatnot? Yep. So we are a small group training facility. Um, we have three personal trainers. Um, we run about eight classes per day, which focus on strength and conditioning. Um, our main clientele is just general public. Um, and then we progress them through to, you know, whatever their goals are or even to a competition standard. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much us. Sweet. And where were you at in terms of uh, client numbers roughly before you and me started chatting? Yeah. So we were basically active, probably under 100, um, around somewhere between, it would fluctuate between 70 to 90. Um, that was prior to starting with Jimmy. And then post that, we ran a couple of um, programs to bring new people in. Um, we managed to sign up 43 females. Um, and also 12 males over the space of about six weeks. So we had um, 55 people come through over the last six weeks. Dude, that, hey, round of applause. If you're watching this, guys, this is, be giving him, some, giving him some props. And I say this on every video, but that's not all the agency. We help. It's a 50-50 relationship. Like Adam and his team, uh, Danny, is, your, is Danny's your part of your team? Yeah. Yep. They're working their butt off. They're working their butt off. Like they're, you know, doing sales appointments, onboarding all these new people. So it's like, it's a 50, 50 relationship. It's not like these clients just sort of fell out of the sky. Right. Yeah, um, exactly. So uh, hey, can you just go back though? Like what were you doing marketing wise or what were you doing to try and bring in new clients before you or me um, yep. started working together? Yep. So a few years ago, we ran our own, um, our own advertising through social media. Uh, we had a little bit of success with it. Um, nowhere near as much as what we've got from, from Jimmy and his team. Um, but um, yeah, basically we didn't, didn't really know how Facebook worked or how Instagram worked, how the algorithms work. So um, we relied a lot on word of mouth um which worked to a degree as well but it all slows up eventually um and that's when we reached out for help so yeah what was the thing what was the thing that made you go yep i need to go speak to um jimmy and the guys at gym boss yeah. i think like most business owners you, you feel like you've got potential to do more um you've got space to do you've got the, you know a good community so you just wanted to add to it so um we've kind of become a little bit stagnant and we just wanted to you know bring in some new faces we know our community is a good place to be around for people looking for results or um or even just you know training in general so um yeah we wanted that community to grow so that's when we reached out and knew getting someone who specializes in it would be a lot more efficient for us yeah and um going back to results 43 females 12 males uh, just to be get further clarification on that we ran the females campaign for a bit longer than the men's yep. and now uh that's why there's that's why the numbers are skewed like that um yep. what what was that in terms of um price point what were you selling the guys at because we were doing a 28 day campaign yep so 28 days it was 100 dollars, so it's under 50 percent of what our regular membership is um four weeks of training it's it was a, a good way to get people through the door um and then from then we try and on sell to our our, our memberships our so that's like your low uh, low barrier to entry or your introductory offer your foundations offer get people in and then after that you're converting them on the back end yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, what's it feel like, man, being able to get 55 new people through the doors signed up yeah. in six weeks? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's busy. It's definitely busy. <laughs> um, I think if you're looking for it and you know where to ask for the right help, you, yeah, you're definitely going to get what you're asking for. So <laughs> That's awesome, man. And so uh, what's next for you guys now that you, you're obviously you've got new people coming in? What's the next steps for House of Paint? Yep. So currently um, considering maybe hiring some more help um, just to help with the workload of new people coming in um, because we've got a, a 
a membership or a client base that's already established, um, you know, we need probably someone to come in and help um, with the, the new people coming in. So um, that, and obviously we always wanted to continually grow. Um, so down the track, of whenever that is, we could eventually maybe look at opening another gym elsewhere. So um, it's always been the back of the back of the mind to maybe try and challenge myself to do that. So um, yeah, that'd be something we look at. That's awesome. So all this new growth obviously means you have to recruit and hire a new team to uh, accommodate for all the workload. Love it. And then future, future, location number two. Yeah, That's cool. Um, so what would you say to the guys that are listening to this? This is a question I asked at the end. They're sitting on the fence, maybe seeing some of our ads, maybe following us on Instagram or listening to the podcast or something. And they're sitting yep. on the fence and they're like, oh, you know, I need to get some help, but I'm not too sure. What do you say to people that are considering working with us? I would just have a conversation. It all starts with a conversation, which happens in our job as well. So um, I'll definitely have speak to someone who's experienced in, the, in marketing. Um, you know, we love our jobs, not for marketing, you know. So if you've got someone there you can talk to about it, like Jimmy, um, 100% have that conversation and see where it can lead you. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. And so if you are watching this uh, and it's on an ad or on a website or somewhere, there's going to be a button somewhere around the video. Click it. Book a time to speak with us. Speak with me. Speak with the team. It's literally just a chat where we can find out more about your business. We can fill you in more about how we can get results similar to what we've done with Adam and the guys over at House of Pain. Adam, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate you. I'm looking forward to helping you um, to grow to this next level for you. No problems, mate. Cheers. See you, legend. Thanks, mate.